guys. So today, while filming the Nikon D750 video, a parcel came in for me, which I'm gonna open up and show you what's inside. All right. I've been waiting for this for about a week. Beautiful. Focus right. Scarlett 2i2, third generation, two in, two out, USB audio interface. So I primarily bought this to start recording some um, YouTube videos like this, but more to do with music. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Very nice. $319 from JB Hi-Fi. Just to mention this video is not sponsored. Opens up like that. Box. Put instructions. Don't need that. There it is. Small in your palm. Let's open that up. Beautiful. There it is. Stunning. Peel that plastic off. And on the back as well. Two inputs, gain. Ooh, that feels very sturdy. Feels great. Got this big knob here. Very sturdy. Oh, it feels a bit plasticky, this one. These ones feel great. What about this one? Oh, this is very good quality, this one. This feels very sturdy. That, that, that's a good feeling button right there. It's got a little tick. Air instrument. It's got your headphone jack also in here. Don't throw this out, because I nearly just threw this out. Your little cable, good quality stuff. Feels like a sturdy cable, it shouldn't break too easily. Clicks in very nicely. I'm just gonna set up the computer and then I'll show you how this sounds with some instruments. All right, I'm just gonna plug this in for the first time. Nice, very nice. Preferences, sound. You wanna put your input as Scarlett 2i2 USB. Output, you also wanna put Scarlett as 2i2 so that you can put your headphones through this and then hear that through your computer. You also want to change it in your program as well, your music program. I'm using Ableton Live. We go to Preferences, Input, Scarlet 2i2, Output, Scarlet 2i2, and then that should be sweet. I'll just talk you through what everything on here does. So you've got your instrument and make sure that when you plug your instrument in the middle, quarter inch jack, you press the instrument button. So this is your gain. Whenever your instrument is at the correct level, it'll flash green whenever you're playing. Whenever it's close to peaking, it'll go orange and then red when it's really peaking. So if it's peaking, just turn the gain knob down a touch until it's back to green. I'd recommend playing as hard as you can uh, on your instrument just to see your levels and then turn it right down until it's hitting the green. The next thing we have is the air button. This is for when you want to record vocals or you want to mic up an amp to record guitar or bass. It's supposed to provide a brighter and more open sound, which I'm not sure if it does. Uh, I don't have a microphone right now to test, but let me know in the comments if this is what you've actually found. The next thing we have is the 48 volt button. This is for phantom power. For those of you who don't know, I'll leave a link in the description. It's a nice little summary explaining everything you need to know about what phantom power is and when to use it. The next button down is the direct monitor button. You'll see this 
single circle and two circles together. The single circle is for mono and the double circle is for stereo. I'd recommend putting it to mono when you're plugging in your instrument. So this big knob over here is for when you have external monitors, which can be plugged in the back here through quarter inch jack, which is the line output, right and left in stereo. And you wanna use this monitor dial here when you've got the, the monitors plugged in. So you, you can just adjust the volume here and there. The next thing over is we have the headphone volume. I usually use this majority of the time because I don't have external monitors to plug into at the moment, meaning that your monitor dial won't actually work if you don't have any external monitors plugged into the back. All right, so my first thoughts for using it for about a day, I'd say this is a great little unit for anyone starting out wanting to get an interface, uh, not sure what to get. I'd really recommend this one. It's super sturdy, easy to set up, and cool thing about this is whenever you plug it in, you've set your uh, settings, you unplug it, you plug it back in, it'll remember your settings. There's absolutely no hum coming out of this interface when you're recording your instruments. I really tried to think of something that I didn't like about this thing and I couldn't come up with anything. It's a simple little design and it's really great uh, if you're starting out and great quality. My brother actually has the older model of this and that's pretty much why I bought this because I've used his extensively and it's never let me down. The sound quality is amazing. Um, cute little things, I love the color. But I would say if you've already got the older versions, I wouldn't recommend uh, upgrading to this just because it is practically the same layout. It's just an updated face. So if this video helped you out at all, hit the like button and subscribe for more. See ya.